Hello there, Royal folks. It's great to see you all here again. This is Ben, and welcome back to Untold Royal Secrets, where we unravel the juiciest as royal secrets and expose the controversial truths that the media doesn't want you guys to know. So it's time to tackle one of the most controversial topics to hit the headlines, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's marriage woes. Now buckle up, because I'm about to spill the tea on what's really going on behind those palace walls, and I know you guys are excited to hear more about this, but before we move on to any further details, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now, the all-important subscribe button, and don't forget to press the bell icon. So, let's face it, folks, it hasn't been a fairy tale for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex since they bid adieu to their royal life, but honestly, who could have seen this coming? A whirlwind romance that ignited a global frenzy, but was it all too good to be true? Ever since their grand wedding in 2018, these lovebirds seem destined for a happily ever after. But fast forward to today, and we see the cracks in their relationship becoming more apparent. Spotify deals gone wrong, alleged financial turmoil, divorce whispers, it's like watching a royal soap opera unfold right before our eyes. The stress, the criticism, and the pressure from all corners have taken a toll on Meghan and Harry's marriage. But hold on guys, are they throwing in the towel? Well, it seems so, as they're taking the controversial route of marriage counselling, which could also be their last hope in as it seems like a desperate attempt to salvage their crumbling empire. Thus, according to many royal experts, they claim this is all just a publicity stunt. Oh, they're just trying to gain sympathy, they say. It's all about saving face and keeping the PR image intact. And let's not forget their extravagant lifestyle private jets, luxury vacations and the multi-million dollar mansions, all while they preach about climate change and their struggles of the common man. Hypocrisy, anyone? Of course, there are diehard fans who will defend Meghan and Harry till the very end. Leave them alone, they cry. They're just trying to find happiness like the rest of us. But are they really just like us, or have they become out of touch with reality? The truth is, my dear viewers, that the world of the roles is not all glitz and grammar. It's a harsh reality, and Meghan Markle learned the hard way. The pressure to conform, the scrutiny, and the constant media circus can break even the strongest of spirits. We've all seen the emotional interviews where Meghan talks about feeling isolated and misunderstood. But is there more to the story? Can we really trust everything we hear from the mouths of evil and gold digger Meghan? Some say that Meghan's ambition clashed with the traditional royal protocol, leading to their controversial exit. Others blame Prince Harry for allowing his love for Meghan to cloud his judgment, leading him down a path that has severed ties with his family and heritage. But amid the chaos and the controversy, one thing remains certain. There's work to be done in their marriage, so they've tried counselling to basically address their issues and salvage their relationship. So what do you guys think about this news? Will counselling be the key to unlocking their happily ever after once more? Or will it just be another chapter in their tumultuous saga? Share your thoughts in the comments, let us know what you think. We'll see you next time for more Royal News and Analysis. Bye for now.